GetTree is just a function that returns or provides the scene tree. The scene tree is essentially a node that exists above the topmost node in a scene, but below the root. So you can grab the root of a game by using getTree.root, or by using get node with a forward slash then root. Although getTree.root is better due to the simplicity, and you can view the root of the game by pressing play, then going to remote on the left, which displays the current state of all your game nodes during runtime. The root is just a viewport node that holds all the visual data from the various nodes in your game, so that Godot can tell the computer what visual content to display on the screen inside the game's window. And because the scene tree exists just above the currently loaded scene, we can use something like getTree.currentScene to grab the scene or level loaded. GetTree.pause will pause the scene tree, making all nodes within it paused as well, unless you change the pause mode to always on nodes that you don't want to pause. Reload current scene will restart the scene tree, basically just unloading the current scene and then loading that scene again. And change scene to file will change the current scene to a different one, which this function is a really good example of how GetTree works, as GetTree will provide the scene tree. And change scene to file will change the currently loaded scene to the file path inside the brackets. Now when it comes to functions that are linked to the scene tree, the ready function is a function that runs its code once, when the node is completely loaded into the scene, and the order of the ready function activating inside the scene tree is from top to bottom. However, the children of a node must load first before its parent can load. Two other functions include the enter tree and exit tree function. The enter tree function activates when its node enters the tree, which can occur when the current scene is selected, or when you initiate a node into the scene. This function activates from top to bottom. The exit tree function is basically the same, Instead, activating when a node leaves the scene, which occurs when the current scene is changed, or when a node freeze or queue freeze, and this function activates from bottom to top. Now you have a basic explanation on the scene tree, and how the getTree function works, and some examples of using the getTree function, which you can add to any of your good old games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files in the description.